Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it, too, when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results! Yes, Mr. Marson. That is so beautiful. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kotsky. I don't expect you made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left for this evening. Uh, well, actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that, then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah... These days, the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? Could you tell me if a certain Hans Vorlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry but our hotel register is strictly confidential. Come on, please. It's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, as the French say, madame. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train, then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Oh, yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round-trip journey to Arrowbad. Whatever. 
You better think about getting it off there, and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah. Of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Attack! 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 I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? Sir? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. 
keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's... Uh, if it was... Honestly... Ma'am, in this hotel... Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Ro... Don't even think about it. Why are you telling... No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? 